Hey folks, here at Redactor, we received the 2021 Samsung Frame TV for review this week, or as I've been calling it, Le Flame. Yeah, lockdown does weird things to you, I guess. Anyway, we moved this into our place in our living room where we review all our new TVs and got to work unboxing. The last TV we unboxed didn't have legs, so we were super happy to find these included in the box. These look like legs. Hey Alex, fantastic. This is the one connect box, which makes the frame all the worth it. This is the 65 inch frame, and it weighs a little over 22.5 kilos, or just shy of 50 pounds. Before we get too far into this, I should say that we definitely unbox this wrong, and you should do as I say, and not as I do. Samsung would prefer you cut the tape off the bottom of the box and lift the whole thing off your new TV rather than risk dropping it by lifting it out like we did. But in the interest of actually getting this thing back to Samsung in one piece, we had to keep the box in one piece. The 2021 frame is different from the 2020 frame in a few key ways. While it's the same screen inside the chassis, the actual frame part of the frame is much thinner, almost by half. But as you can see, we prefer the legs from earlier. The best part about them, no screws required. They just slide and snap into place. Watch my amazement. How easy is that? Oh my God. See, genuine party trick. No tools required here, folks. The frame does come with its own wall mount for the authentic digital art experience. We have a 2020 frame mounted in the bedroom, but as this has to go back eventually, we'd rather just stand it up. Big thanks to Stella for helping us out with this one. She really knows her OLEDs from her QLEDs. Yeah, kitty. As I mentioned, the frame 2021 is much, much thinner. We're talking half as thin as the last one, measuring just 26 millimeters thick, or a little over an inch. The best part of my job? Peeling off all the protective plastic, of course. Oh yeah. The frame's other magic trick comes in the form of the One Connect box, which transforms your living room in a snap. Instead of having all the cables connect to your TV, they plug into the One Connect box and then to your TV via this clear cable. Nifty. Speaking of nifty, the new Samsung Smart Remote is sleeker than ever, and it's solar powered. He is hoping your living room gets natural light. Now for the setup. Once this unit is powered on for the first time, you can do a speedy setup via your smartphone or use the old fashioned remote. I wanna show you all what this looks like, so we're gonna use the remote control option. Now, I've sped this up a lot and removed a few screens where it asks for passwords that I'm definitely not going to show you guys. But the whole setup took me around five to 10 minutes in total. You get served the Samsung Art Store during the setup process, which is $60 a year or $6 a month to subscribe. It's great if you just want gorgeous art served to you on a regular basis, but I still think it needs some kind of free trial period for these new models. And there's now a choice of Smart Assistant, from Bixby to Alexa and Google Assistant. Then you're ready to go. Just this fancy animation and you're underway. That's the unboxing of the Frame 2021 done. Our full review of the Frame 2021 can be found on redacted.co. High five. Thanks for watching. 